approximately 127 years ago, a great soul took birth in the southern part of India, near Erode, whose genius and extraordinary brilliance in number theory and pattern of numbers brought the focus of the entire world towards India. He is none other than Srinivas Ramanujam. On 22nd December, on 22nd December, Government of India has decided that every year it should be celebrated as National Day of Mathematics. On that eve, our school also want to celebrate uh, by conducting a kind of lecture with the guidelines of, uh, given by CBSE. In that process, I am there here in front of you. Today, the topic that I am going to cover is the contribution of India to the world of mathematics. We have a number of mathematicians born in our country right from time immemorial who has brought name and fame for this country. I will start from the ancient time. The oldest mathematician we can say because if you see the evaluation of any science or mathematics, we don't have discrimination between science, logic, mathematics. Earlier it was a single entity. Indians moreover who have bent much towards the spiritual way of life, they thought that Veda, Sastra, and Vijnanam, Etat Sarvam, Janatana. They thought that the complete embodiment of knowledge is God. They worship knowledge as God. So, from that context to the modern day world, we have numbered innumerable mathematicians in our country. First of all, the greatest contribution of Indian mathematicians towards the world of numbers is the concept of zero and concept of infinity. Some people say in a lighter manner that the contribution of Indian mathematicians towards mathematics is zero. It is true. It is not nothing. It is infinity also and some people ask me regularly that sir without zero how earlier mathematicians were doing what they were doing it is children it is not the symbol zero that you are talking about the concept of zero concept of emptiness concept concept of wholeness was established in our scriptures, manuscripts, and even some of the Upanishads. Without zero, you can write the numbers like you have in no, uh, Roman system. Roman system, do you have zero in that? We have few symbols. L, C, D, M, X, I, V. With those symbols, whole numbers were represented. That's the way it was done earlier. The concept of zero <coughs> was established first and the present manner of number system like a decimal was really, though the western historians doesn't establish because they were always biased, they have not established that but we have used it as far as you know 5th century BC. We have used, we have the counting system like Eka, Dasha, 
ಶತ ಸಹಸ್ರ ಆಯುತ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಯ ಪ್ರಾಯುತ ಕೋಟಿ ಅರ್ಬುದ ಅಬ್ಜ ಖರ್ವ ನಿಖರ್ವ ಮಹಾಪದ್ಮ ಶಂಕ ಜಲಧಿ ಅಂತ್ಯ ಮಹಾಶಂಕ ಪರಾರ್ಥ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ನಂಬರ್ಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಯು ನೋ ದ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಸೇ ಇನ್ ದ ವೆಸ್ಟರ್ನ್ ಕೌಂಟಿಂಗ್ ವಾಟ್ ಫೇಲ್ ಫೇಸ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಗಾಟ್ ಟ್ರಿಲಿಯನ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದಟ್ ಟೆನ್ ಟ್ರಿಲಿಯನ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಟ್ರಿಲಿಯನ್ ಥೌಸಂಡ್ ಟ್ರಿಲಿಯನ್ ಯು ಡೋಂಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅ ಕೌಂಟಿಂಗ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಕ್ಟ್ ನಾಮಿನ್ ಕ್ಲೇಚರ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಟ್ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಇನ್ ವೇದಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ಥೌಸಂಡ್ ಟು ಫೈವ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಬಿಸಿ ಆಲ್ ದ ಸ್ಕ್ರಿಪ್ಚರ್ಸ್ ಕಂಟೈನ್ ದೀಸ್ ಕೌಂಟಿಂಗ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆರ್ಯಭಟ್ಟ ಇನ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಬುಕ್ ಹಿ ಸೆಟ್ ದಟ್ ಸ್ಥಾನಂ ಸ್ಥಾನಂ ದಸೆ ಗುಣಂ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಟು ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಟೆನ್ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಮೋರ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಕಟ್ ಇಂಡಿಕೇಶನ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಅ ಡೆಸಿಮಲ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಸುಪೀರಿಯರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಷನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಡೀಲಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಗಾಟ್ ಮೋರ್ ಅಡ್ವಾಂಟೇಜಸ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ಅದರ್ ಪ್ಯಾರಲ್ ಸಿವಿಲೈಸೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಬಾಬಲಿಯನಿಯನ್ ಸಿವಿಲೈಸೇಷನ್ ಹು ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಗಾಟ್ ಸೆಕ್ಸೋ ಜೆಸಿಮಲ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಸೆಕ್ಸೋ ಜೆಸಿಮಲ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಮೇಕ್ ಎ ಮಿನಿಟ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಬ್ಯಾಬಿಲೋನಿಯನ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ವಿ ಕುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಫೈಂಡ್ ಎನಿ ಆಲ್ಟರ್ನೇಟ್ ಆಲ್ಟರ್ನೇಟಿವ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಷನ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಬಾಬಿಲೋನಿಯನ್ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಗಾಟ್ ಅಡ್ವಾಂಟೇಜ್ ಓವರ್ ದಟ್ ಅವರ್ ಡೆಸಿಮಲ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ರೋಮನ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಆಫ್ ನಂಬರ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಗಾಟ್ ಲಿಮಿಟೆಡ್ ಸಿಂಬಲ್ಸ್ for expressing big numbers suppose in roman numbers if i ask you your mobile number what is it how long it would be it will be very difficult it has got our decimal system has got much better advantages uh, advantages over that chinese system which is vertical way of representing the numbers it has got our decimal system was much more advantages over that greeks that's why though the numbers and the number system what we adopt is called as arabic it is not actually arabic children it has passed from india it is actually those symbols are called indo arabic symbols the proof is very much established in there is one manuscript available uh, i mean uh, the historians found in bakshali a place near uh, nowadays pakistan bakshali manuscript it is called bakshali manuscript clearly establishes the numer- numerical system that indians have have adopted the way of calculation it was found in 1881 but that is mostly dated to around first century ad uh, this is about the number system number system has got its origin and a strong base it was accepted by the world uh, this is the biggest contribution of indian mathematician and other things i am telling you vedic mathematics nowadays we say vedic mathematics are the simple formulas of calculation of uh, numerical problems there are 16 sulva sutras which were there in rigveda those those formulas are in the form of uh, sanskrit verses like ekadikena purvena eka nyunena purvena these are the formulas are given and without a extraordinary brilliance this is this is not possible children and this was a major contribution of indian mathematicians towards the uh, world of mathematics other thing is geometrical construction geometrical constructions were uh, also given in the kind of sulva sutras there are people who have con- means written books like bodhayana apastamba katyayana who lived around 800 to 600 bc how many years back 2800 years back they have written books on how to construct a place of worship temple how to construct a house our vastu has got its origin from there there clearly they have mentioned uh, how to construct a rectangle how to construct a square without using any geometrical instruments nowadays we have geometrical instruments for construction we learned in mathematics that euclid has given uh, 
his in his book elements how to construct various things in the form of axioms and is one but in bc our people have told and i am telling you i am very happy to inform you that pythagoras theorem pythagoras lived at around uh, it, it is around uh, 500 bc i think pythagoras lived in 500 bc 100 years before itself baudhayana he has told in baudhayana sutra there is one sutra he has one simple explanation it is he may not be exactly telling what pythagoras has said he said that the line segment joining the corners of a square makes exactly a square double its original area i hope you are understanding this statement the line segment joining the corners of a square makes a square whose area is exactly double the original square it is nothing but the pythagoras theorem they have used it but we could not uh, highlight that in the history and next contribution is in astronomy astronomy if i start telling that it is one hour is not one day is not sufficient because indians were the finest astronomers finest astronomers in the world galileo galilei has invented telescope and he has told that uh, earth is not the center sun is the center and whole universe moves around the earth it was right but however when as far as calculation of time and other things are concerned our astronomers like varaha mira they have calculated time i am not talking about geocentric or heliocentric theories indians might be wrong the indians also told that earth was a center, earth is a center and whole even sun is also planet but however they were very accurate in calculating solar solar eclipse and lunar eclipse by just looking at the movement of the stars movement of the earth movement of the moon simultaneously three parallel calendars lunar calendar solar calendars and uh, the, the sauramana chandramana and barhaspatyamana barhaspatyamana is looking at the brahaspati um, jupiter they have calculated a calendar based on the movement of jupiter also even in some part of middle india they follow barhaspatyamana fantastic calculations they did and uh, they could predict exact time and actually uh, jyotisha astronomy is somewhere related to jyotisha but many people think that jyotisha is something uh, superstitious it is telling about prediction of uh, whether your fortune uh, prediction of your fortunes or misfortunes or something like that it more than that it is a calculation calculation of time fixing of exact muhurt in that point indians were very very successful now with the present uh, scenario actually with the rule of westerns there is lot of under confidence filled in our minds that we are inferior to someone else western people uh, i would like to continue but uh, as the time doesn't permit me to elaborate this i appeal to all of you on this occasion look at the tradition that we had look at the legacy that we had in the field of mathematics in the field of knowledge it is just that innovative thinking which makes you create for generations we are just disseminating the knowledge which is already there we are not concentrating on how to create the knowledge if you develop that attitude that zeal in you you can create knowledge so promising phases are there in front of me definitely 
I hope that someone of you will reach to that height with the ignition that you take from by reading the great people, by knowing the better content, be the creator of knowledge. With this, I remain. Thank you for your patient hearing. Jai Hind.